What's oh, going sorry. on, guys? Hey, hey. welcome to our table. How you yeah, doing? Yeah, good. I like this. All right. I like your hat. It's, it's like the line of fire. It's cool, right? Right? Yeah. It's really cool. My, uh, the defining feature right there. We were, uh, we were in Vancouver. We were eating at uh, this great restaurant. Um, what's that? The Flying Pig. Oh, yes. I'm visiting Vancouver. It's amazing. Yeah, the Flying Pig. And um, and Thomas was getting a little rambunctious. And I was like, baby, I'm just going to take him outside and walk him around. And so I took him outside. And two stores down was like a Goran Brothers shop. And so Tom just ran in and he grabbed a hat and put it on. And the guy was like, hey, we have kids' hats. And I was like, sure, whatever. You know, I was just letting Tom. It was kind of like his bedtime. We had to tab out and stuff. And they were having like a Breaking Bad hat party. They were releasing the Breaking Bad hat. And so anyways, Tom put on this little hat and he has this same hat. It's just oh, small. It's a little boy's hat. Have you, I assume you've taken pictures. I do. I'll have to Twitter it. Um, you should. It's you on should. my old phone. So I have to, That's fantastic. I'll have to figure out how to get that on my new phone. That's awesome. Maybe email or something. I'm still new to this Twitter machine. It's um, cool. But it's cool. Thank you. So your character been through a lot obviously many seasons tell us what you think about what's going on now and where your journey is going I, I love this Sam I, I love the Sam that's committed and loyal and is fighting for his brother it was tough to play I'm going to call it purgatory Sam but it was tough <laughs> to play Sam while Dean was in purgatory you know what yeah, I mean because yeah, yeah. um, I'm, a, I'm a loyal guy and I'm a fighter um, for things I care about for family for friends um, and so I like when Sam is willing to fight we test the kind of the limits of morality and ethics um, and just how far he goes but that's a fun kind of uh, theme we like to play with on Supernatural mm -hmm. so I'm, I really enjoy it well what was the toughest part for the season finale you know obviously Dean died I mean yeah. that scene I was bawling it was oh thank you yeah it was yeah. incredible what was, what was the, you know was it hard to, be, to it, do that it is hard it, it's really difficult yeah. the, the, the more difficult part is the way we had to shoot it, frankly, because it's actiony and it's really hard to go yeah. from fighting and doing that kind of stuff to getting really emotional. Um, and the way we had to shoot it, we shot all the stuff with Curtis, uh -huh. Metatron, and, right, right, and right. Jensen, and then we had to kind of move all the cameras. And so it was just the way we shot it. The scene where I'm carrying him and walking mm -hmm. him was probably four hours after we had shot the earlier part. Yeah, because just the, the different angles. Oh and so it was hard to get the they started to get the rhythm. But luckily, they gave me time and Jensen time to kind of find it. Um, and then it's hard. I mean, I, everybody has a different method. But I, my method is I, I try to make it as real as possible and try and put myself in the, in the shoes of somebody who's losing their brother. Um, and your body, I mean, if you're crying, your body doesn't know... It just knows you're crying, so it kind of makes you sad. It's like when they say, smile, it'll make you happy. That's actually true. Smiling actually right. legitimately makes you happy. It releases pheromones. Exactly. Uh, crying makes you sad. So crying <laughs> for like three hours, um, thinking about your brother, something happened. Yeah. Sorry, microphone, that was a... It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's difficult, but it's, it's in the long run, it's worth it. Like season eight, the end of season eight was also really difficult. But then, you know, what does they say? Film, film is forever, right? right Pain exactly. is forever. So... Uh, <laughs> So I'll go back one of these days and watch it all. Yeah. Are you enjoying the show as much now as you did in the beginning? I'm enjoying it a lot more now. I, and that's not, uh, that's not a, a line they're paying me to say or something. I really do truly feel like at the beginning, there were a few episodes, there were a few dark episodes that didn't really work. And we were trying to figure out what worked, who the characters were, what the fans liked, and everything in between. And now I feel like it's a, it's a running ship. You know what I mean? Like it, it's working well. I'm like a brother to all these actors and they're like brothers and sisters to me I love the crew I've gotten used to the travel um, we all know each other it's been 10 years it's like going to high school for 10 years and you go to high school where you enjoy people you know? and, you <laughs> and enjoy I know, what you do I know you guys have done some pranks on set and everything what's the most what's the funniest pranked, thing that's happened I recently I just pranked Misha about an hour ago <laughs> oh, no, he, we were doing the signing thing and um, he left his phone on and on Twitter and so I was like I hate fans send so if you look <laughs> If you look, I'm he, gonna go look that up. so I guess is yeah. Look, he didn't erase it, um, but he took a picture of me. He's like, he stole my phone. Uh, and I was like, Misha, you can't leave your phone on and on Twitter right next to me. And what way? Like, what's wrong with you? I've done it before. So. so you're actually a worse troll than he is. I am absolutely, absolutely. And I just had to. I, I would have thought of something, but he was coming back. So I was like, Bleh. hey, fans. <laughs> Uh, and then he was like, oh my, so I think his wife texted him like, uh, does Jared have your phone again? <laughs> Literally, that's somebody, I don't, he didn't tell me who yeah. warned him, but he's like, I think Jared has your phone. So, so funny. We have a lot of fun. But that, that, you know what? Um, some shows and movies don't allow kind of pranks because they waste time. But that's another thing about talking about how much I like the show better. They know that we are going to play pranks and have fun. 
but they know we can get the job done. So there's a nice mutual trust. Back at the beginning of the show, you're really trying so hard to just get picked up that you're not sleeping, you're not eating. Everybody's really strict because, like, listen, we're 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 spending money, like, quit fooling around. But now they're like, you know what? This is the this is the the way they are, and they get the show done, and they and this is how they work well. And